I'm the founder of the Jersey Girls Stay Strong Multisport Triathlon Club. We're an all women's club that's geared towards both the new athlete and the experienced athlete. We founded the club a little over two years ago and have grown to three, almost 300 members at this point, plus a very large closed group on Facebook. We have over 700 members in the group. I'm both a USAT certified triathlon coach and a total immersion level two certified swim instructor. Our club really gears itself towards people that are just coming back into sports or have never participated in sports in the past. The way we prepare for open water swimming is starting now. In the off season, I really strongly recommend that people get into the pool and improve their swim technique first off. If you work on your technique, and I'm a very, very strong believer in total immersion swimming, it's a method that has helped my swimming immensely and it's a fabulous way to teach new swimmers, experienced swimmers, how to improve their technique. The experience that we've had over the last couple of years has been that when people have gotten comfortable in a pool and built their endurance and their swim ability, when we get out into the open water they're ready to tackle open water swimming. It's a little more difficult if you haven't been swimming to start from the beginning in open water. It's not impossible, but if you have the opportunity to build skills and endurance now, that's the best thing to do. When we do get into open water swimming, I'm also very, very, very safety conscience, conscious. We spend a lot of time, I work with another certified lifeguard, and we really spend a lot of time trying to teach people how to read the water, how to understand, how to work with the current, how to work with possible riptides, and other obstacles that may be in their way in open water swimming. We swim in groups, we swim in a smaller area, we have two lifeguards at all times, one on a stand-up paddleboard and either one on the shore and or in the water depending on the currents. We swim in groups, we buddy up, and we also work on technique in open water. There's a lot of technique that people can improve when they're open water swimming. I talk to people about what their skill levels are and what kind of races it is that they're preparing for. If you're preparing for a shorter distance, lake swim, river swim, there's one whole set of skills to work on, how to sight, how to line up at the start, where to position yourself. If it's an ocean swim, there's a different set of skills, and we work on all of those throughout the early season. A lot of races now have gone from either mass starts or wave starts by groups, by age group, by men and women, to what they call a rolling start. I understand the concept behind it. I am not a fan. What tends to happen is the more hesitant swimmer, more fearful swimmer, keeps drifting to the back, drifting to the back, drifting to the back, and their fear and their anxiety level just builds and builds and builds. I think if you have either an open water start, and I'm sorry, an Ironman, a big part of it is, to me, the math start where I even preferred when the pros started with the age groupers, but I'm a little bit old school when it comes to that. Um, if you group it by age group, you know, men under 40, all women, men over 40, within that, I think people can position themselves, see themselves, and get ready to start. I've seen it in some local races that I've helped out at that had that rolling start where the, the fearful swimmer or the slower swimmer waited and waited and waited, and they were all the way at the back by themselves with nobody else but other fearful swimmers. And that anxiety level just built, and I don't see it as a good thing. I also don't see it as a good thing for the more competitive athlete like myself. I want to start head to head with the people that are in my age group and that I'm competing against and know where I'm at. I know a lot of people disagree with that, but that's how I feel and that's how I like racing. I don't encourage my group, my athletes to wait too long. If they're in a swim that has a rolling start, if they're not a fast swimmer, I encourage them to get up there towards the middle of the pack, don't wait till the end. 
don't let that anxiety level build and don't leave themselves out there. As I said, I've, I've, I've seen it one particular race I'm thinking of, and people were strung out all by themselves, and I think that just builds more anxiety and makes for a more unsafe race for everybody involved. And that's just how I feel about it. And you are? Moira Haran, Jersey Girl, Stay Strong Multisport. Where can we find you? I'm on Facebook. Uh, if you look for Stay St Jersey Girl, Stay Strong Multisport, my website is staystrongmultisport.com or .mobi for our mobile app.